All right, there's a major manhunt happening in uh, Florida right now. Police are pursuing a, a dangerous criminal. And uh, just prepare yourself for this because I'm going to show you this uh, video, the news clip. And you will see, I'm just, a warning now, just a warning ahead of time, you're going to see footage of this uh, terrible violent crime happening. And it's very, very disturbing. Uh, but here it is. Police are searching for the driver caught doing donuts, damaging the Progressive Pride street mural. Just after 2.40 Wednesday morning, a vehicle is caught on a security camera doing donuts, damaging a Pride mural on Central Avenue in St. Petersburg. Tire marks still visible on the street. My reaction is uh, disappointment, not surprise. Um, I think anytime we're in a situation where we have public displays of pride, our authentic selves, people are going to have a reaction to it. Dr. Byron Green Collish is president of St. Pete Pride. He feels someone targeted the mural. He says the mural is visual representation that everyone is welcomed here. The mural is really a public love letter to the residents of St. Pete. Being able to collaborate with the city and other pride organizations here in the city really feels like love and home. St. Pete police say over the past week, two different vehicles have left tire marks on the mural. One where a driver accelerated on Friday, May 17th at around 930 in the morning. The second incident, that vehicle doing donuts. Officers do not believe the two cases are connected. Mayor Ken Welch posted on Instagram saying, in light of the recent vandalism targeting the Progressive Pride flag mural, there is no place for hate in St. Petersburg. St. Pete police say the person responsible faces a criminal mischief felony charge since it will cost the city $1,100 to restore the mural in time for Pride Month festivities. A massive thank you to the city and being able to jump into action as quickly as they did. Anyone with any information regarding the driver and the blue vehicle is asked to contact St. Pete Police. Yes, anybody with information, uh, any information about this crime. I actually do have information. From what I understand, based on my sources, the suspect has fled all the way down to um, Antarctica so and is now hiding deep in the interior of the, uh, of the, of the continent. So what I would suggest is that you send as many officials down there as possible to find. Send the whole city government to go find this guy. Uh, this, this is the most important thing you could do. Just go all the way down there and uh, don't come back until you find him. That's my recommendation. Because this is obviously a, a serious crime. I mean, tire marks? Tire marks? On a street of all places? How could that happen? How could this happen? This is like, um, next thing you know, you'll tell me that you found, uh, I don't know, traces of water droplets in a sink. Anything's possible. Now, I will admit, based on the video, the tire tracks do appear to have been left rather intentionally in this case. Uh, the car is is uh, doing donuts or donuts, according to the reporter who kept pronouncing it donuts. Um, so the car is doing donuts, but but... You know, do we know that he was doing the donuts in a targeted way? Like in a negative way? Do we know that? Maybe they were donuts of celebration. Maybe he was trying to celebrate the LGBT community. Maybe he saw the pride flag and was overwhelmed by feelings of, of, um, of happiness and pride. And, and, and he just started driving in a circle in a state of ecstasy. That's possible, isn't it? You know, I mean, maybe he was maybe he was trying to add maybe he was um, uh, trying to add a, a, a design to it. Maybe he had a, he had an idea because they keep they keep uh, updating the pride flag and adding weird like new designs to it. Maybe this was him. This is like street art. He's 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 adding a, another design to make. You know what he's doing? He was actually making the pride flag more inclusive. That was his objective, I think, from what, from what I from what I understand, based on the assumption I'm making right now. At least if I was that guy, which I'm not saying I was, well, I wouldn't put it past me. Um, no, it wasn't me. But if I was that guy, that's what I would, that would be my, that's what I would say. That would be my argument. I'd say I was making the pride flag more inclusive. I, it, what are you talking about? It, you know, and the circles represent, um, I don't know, represent polysexuals. Or if they're not already on there, there's got to be some kind of sexual that isn't on there. Whatever's not on there is uh, that's what I was trying to do. 
Polyamorous. Are the polyamorous people on the pride flag yet? LGBTQIA. I don't think there's a P. Is there a P? There's probably a P. I don't know. Uh, that's what I would say. It's, uh, well, oh, so you're. Oh, so you're telling me that the polyamorous community shouldn't be on the flag? Is that what you're saying? Who's committing the hate crime here? Me or you? Maybe he wanted the. You know, the, maybe, maybe he was, he was, maybe that, look, there are plenty of LGBT people who, uh, who sell tires for a living that, that are in the tire selling community that are in the tire industry, you know, work at Goodyear or whatever. And so maybe this was his way of rep, of representing those people, the, the gay people who sell tires by putting tire tracks on the pride flag. Think about it. That makes a lot of sense. Now, or maybe, sure, like God forbid, God forbid, maybe. I, I, to me, it's, it's, it's a far-fetched, but maybe, maybe this is someone, maybe, who had a problem with the pride flag being painted in the middle of the street. That's also, it's possible. It is possible. Anything's possible. And I'm sure I'll be told that it's, it's not unreasonable to pursue this guy for criminal charges, given that they aren't charging him with a hate crime, but with criminal mischief. And doing donuts on a public street is uh, is illegal, and yeah, that's true. But of course, we all know that if this guy had done the same thing anywhere else on the road, there wouldn't be any manhunt underway, and and police would not be looking for tips to catch the suspect. In fact, this guy could have committed a crime against an actual person rather than a crosswalk, and they wouldn't be putting the same effort into finding. Him. He could have robbed someone. He could have committed burglary. He could have stolen a car, and and uh, there wouldn't be anything close to the same effort and the same emphasis on catching this guy. And we all know that, and that's the case in every city in the country. Like I had my own. This is not in, in that, but in Nashville, I had my own car stolen a couple of years ago, and uh, and uh, the people that stole it crashed it into a light pole, and the cops basically told me up front, like, "Yeah, we're probably not going to catch the guy. <laughs> we're not going to. We're probably not going to catch them." And, uh, and I never heard another word about it from the cops ever again. It's like it never happened. So, it, because that's the kind of thing that gets put to the bottom of the stack and um, stays there forever. It's just not emphasized. So, somebody leaving tire tracks on the street, under normal circumstances, that wouldn't even be at the bottom of the stack. That's not even in the stack. Okay, that's in the, the circular filing bin, as the saying goes. Um, this is not a crime that anyone would care about or any resources would be spent on pursuing ever under any circumstance unless there happened to be an obnoxious rainbow flag painted on that spot. And then they treat it like they're hunting for bin Laden, right? Because uh, as that one guy said, the pride flag is a love letter to the gay people of the city. Well, here's a question. Should the city government be sending love letters to any community? Is that what the government should be doing? Should taxpayers be funding love letters? But of course, we know that the pride flag is the symbol of the state religion. That's what's really going on here. Uh, the guy in the truck committed a, an act of blasphemy against a revered religious symbol. And that's why they're pursuing him. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.